From the Cruise Radio Studio in Jacksonville, Florida, this is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your Cruise News for Wednesday, August 16th. Port Canaveral gets another cruise ship. Celebrity Cruises will home port Celebrity Equinox at Port Canaveral from December 3rd of next year until April 19th of 25. Now, this makes Celebrity Cruises the seventh major cruise line to call at Port Canaveral, which is currently the world's busiest cruise port. Celebrity Equinox will provide 20 new itineraries from Port Canaveral, including destinations like the Bahamas, Belize, Grand Cayman, Mexico, San Juan, and St. Martin. Now, other deployments that Celebrity announced is Celebrity Summit and Apex in Port Everglades and Celebrity Constellation sailing from Port Tampa Bay. The line also announced more sailings calling at Royal Caribbean's private island Perfect Day. And the Port of Lahaina in Hawaii has said it will suspend cruise operations indefinitely. Cruise lines are now working to find alternate docking spaces in Maui or other islands in the region. Holland America has joined NCL in donating to the victims of the Maui wildfires. Now, Holland America told us in a statement that we've partnered with the brands of Carnival Corporation to donate $50,000 to direct relief's Maui efforts aimed at getting critical medicines and supplies to the island. The line is also dedicating their on deck for a cause walks to Direct Relief's mission on the island on Hawaii sailings. And finally, Norwegian Cruise Line is making its return to the Port of Baltimore's cruise terminal on September 1st, offering trips to the Caribbean and the Canada New England area. Now, on tap is a fall and winter schedule this year with plans for a fall schedule next year. Alternating ships based in Baltimore will be Norwegian Sun and Norwegian Sky, sailing to Bermuda, the DR, and the Canada New England region. Baltimore's current cruises are operating at full capacity in the terminal's convenient location near I-95 and the airport attract guests from all major cruise lines. And cruise line stocks were all down on Tuesday. Carnival Corporation down 1.3%, 16.61. Royal Caribbean down just slightly, 103.51. And Norwegian down 1%, 17.65. We did it. After 20 hours of traveling, we are back in Jacksonville. And uh, it's starting to rain on us, so we'll go. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great Wednesday. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. Behind-the-scenes content and extras are now available at patreon.com slash cruiseradio.